Central Asia is changing rapidly, but social and economic development depends on sufficient supply of energy. Providing the people with energy is one of the most crucial tasks for the future. An important source of energy in Central Asia is hydropower. The region has enough rivers to supply its people with electricity. Furthermore, the surplus energy could be exported and become an important source of income. But the region's hydropower potential is still far from being fully exploited. Central Asia's mountain states in particular are rich in water resources. In Tajikistan, for example, more than 25,000 rivers flow across the country. Not far from Dushanbe, Tajikistan's capital, the Nurek Dam retains the water of the Vaksh River. With 300 meters from bottom to top, it is the tallest dam in the world. Already decades ago, investments were made into large-scale hydropower. After almost 20 years of construction, the Nurek Dam has stored the Vaksh water since 1980. In the mountainous Tajikistan, electricity generation using water is a national task. Water and hydropower are key factors for Tajikistan's way into the future. Therefore, Nurek is only one component of a large national power plant grid. The Tajik government is committed to continuing the Soviet-era program of building numerous hydro plants across the country, so every river can be used to its full potential. The Tajik government's most ambitious project is to build a dam at Ragun, upstream the Vaksh River. The Ragun Dam would produce 3,600 megawatts of energy. With a height of 335 metres, it would be the tallest dam in the world and the most powerful in Central Asia. Construction began in 1980 under Soviet rule, but stopped in the early 90s. Now, the Tajik government wants to finish it. Yet it is not sure if this dam is technically feasible and economically viable. World Bank experts are examining this project. Furthermore, the Ragun Dam meets with objections from downstream countries. With huge dam projects, concerns are growing between the nations about the highly delicate topic of control over water distribution. Therefore, countries should build mutual trust. Reliability is the goal. This requires joint efforts supported both by all countries in the region and by the international community. Water and energy enable people to have a better life. Central Asia and Afghanistan have energy resources that many, many other countries and regions in the world would love to have. And Central Asia and Afghanistan are exploiting those resources and making a better world for their, for their people. Participants of this meeting in Ashgabat, Turkmenistan's capital, in August 2011, discussed issues of regional use of water resources and energy trade in the future, with Afghanistan's participation. In remote mountain regions, building up and maintaining large energy infrastructure projects is a big challenge. Especially after the collapse of the Soviet Union, the energy infrastructure in the mountains faced difficulties. It resulted in unreliable electricity supply. Therefore, the solution to this problem lies not only in huge projects like Ragun or Nurek. Small local hydro power plants are becoming more and more important. With the help of the Deutsche Gesellschaft für internationale Zusammenarbeit, Small hydropower plants like this one in the Tajik mountain village of Dashti Obodon are being built. The diverted water river will be fed into a downpipe. A few meters difference in elevation will be enough for the water to spin the future turbine. Hydropower plants of this design, efficient, and simple to maintain are ideal for remote and inaccessible locations. When the small hydroelectric plant is finished, it will have an immediate positive effect. For example, the village school in Dashti Obodon is currently equipped with only bare necessities.
Once electricity is available, modern equipment like computers can be purchased for the classes. The education will be better. Perhaps some of the students will get a chance to study at a university in a city. Electricity will change the life of the people in Dashti Obodon. First of all, it is necessary for the pupils, for this, our schools, for our hospitals. And our, at the hospitals, uh, we can use modern, modern uh, uh, medical systems for the keeping the health of our uh, people. Uh, at schools, the pupils will learn uh, during the day uh, the, to work on computer and new Technic technical uh, uh, systems. Uh, the uh, population can use all kind of electricity uh, for their life, uh, necessary for their life. <laughs>